Hi everyone! My name is Katie and thank you for joining me for another Animal Crossing video. Today we will be building a cozy little shrine area around my resident rep's home, so let's get started! I actually did most of this build live over on my brand new Twitch account that I just started streaming on. So be sure to head over there and drop me a follow, I would really appreciate it. I already had this big old cliff built up from my last video, so the first thing to do was start with my pathing. As always, I'm using these amazing Sakura codes by Colin Crossing, and all of the codes in today's video can be found below in my description box. So figuring out how to make this path not look awkward was one of my biggest challenges in this build. I wanted it to look natural, but I didn't want it to look too wonky and curvy, so finding that balance and making it look nice is what I'm doing here. Once I had that main path all laid down, I went in with a few sakura trees. I placed them all around to kind of frame out the build and give me an idea of the space that I was working with as far as the items and other path codes that I needed to lay down. Then I put down this gazebo and I just loved how it looked so I knew that I wanted it to be there. And then I put in a ducky pond. I really wanted to have this at my resident rep's house. Once I had that pond laid down, I started going in on this right side of the house with a few ideas. I started with this bamboo tree and a little garden area. I end up changing it but I also went in with some pagodas. I love how these look and they give great height and they're a unique item to me and I really love using them on this island in this theme. And then it was getting pretty dark so I time traveled to daytime and replaced that flower shed with some party lights. And I went in to add some hyacinths around the build. And then I went in with some more of that dirt pathing below the gazebo area. I love how natural and cute this dirt path looks. And I needed to start putting down some sakura petals, so I'm doing that all around, picking up items, laying down paths, and you know the drill. I'm just fiddling around with how I want these items to look, and then I started adding more codes. I wanted to have a little sheep area because I love sheep so, so much. I talked about that in one of my other resident rep home builds, so I'll have that linked here. These are some of my favorite items in the whole game. So I made myself a teeny tiny sheep pasture. Once I had that done, it was time to start decorating the other parts of the build. I am laying down so many custom codes and so many hyacinth flowers and just making it feel very natural and cozy.
Then I started laying down the ducks for my ducky pond. I think that they look so, so cute. By this tree, I wanted to have a little sitting area with some kind of food item because those are some of my favorites and I love any excuse to use a food item. I added some different seating options as well as one of these mom cakes. And I continued putting down custom codes and flowers. I also really love how the Sakura parasol looks so I wanted to add that. And these little sandals just looked so cute over here by the pond. I added a couple of blossom lanterns by the house to give more light to the area. And then I got started on this right side. I decided to change up the path a little bit so that it didn't just end so abruptly. And I went in with more codes, more flowers, some natural looking items. And I actually had to build up a little bit more of this cliff so that I had room for another tree over here. So then I finished off this area with more flowers, more codes, and more cutesy items and bug models. And I ended up deciding that I wanted to put my mailbox over here as well. So then I had to head over to Tom Nook and change how that looked. And once I did that, that finished off my build. All right, everyone. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love how cozy and just me this build feels. I love the sheep, I love the ducky pond, I love all of the pink and all of the cute items, and I hope that you like it as well. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, and if you'd like to see more from me, be sure to hit subscribe and go follow me over on Twitch. I hope that you and yours are staying safe, happy, and healthy. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye